Welcome back everybody, it's another episode of the RTG, the real life RTG, yes you got it, we are back once again, this one is rival reward, I'm not going to show you what I got because it was total rubbish. <laughs> Yes, I've opened them up already before I went live. I went for the untradeable packs and they were just horrendous. It's a sad day. It's a bad day. I didn't get anyone decent, no one to shout out about. So I should have just gone with the coins and been able to go and buy someone. Other than that, there's nothing in my club that's new from the player standpoint of view. And I haven't got any coins either. 10,000 coins I spent some money on doing some SPCs yesterday. I've got them packed sat in the store. I've not opened them up. I'll wait, wait for a little while. I need to do a few other things. Not been doing any objectives either, which is bad news because this is what the RTG is all about, but I've really struggled to kind of get time to play these games and do everything else on the game. I've been trying to play as many rival games as possible, get some coins and then buy some new players and I've also been trying to qualify for the weekend league but it looks really really hard this week. I think it's going to go on to next week and then I'll be able to qualify for the weekend league. It's already Thursday, I've got hardly any coins, I'm halfway through my target of getting the points to play for weekend league qualification which I haven't got. Let's get back to it anyway, the objectives, I've not been able to do anything, there's some decent cards here, this Magnor looks brilliant, a left mid, there's some Silver Beast first on a Fiesta I've not done, Dest looks good, I've done two, I need to do another two which is score it to eight goals in Serie A players in squad battles and I could possibly do this guy, I've got five days, will he, will he get upgraded? I don't think so. I really wanted to do Richarlison. Again, it looks unlikely. I've got one day, four hours. I don't think I'm real to do this, nor Richarlison for the team. I still need to do a few of these. As you can see, I've not done anything. I've not done anything. Oh God. Oh, I'm so close to this. I'm so close. I just need to do, okay, okay. So that's something I need to do. I need to do this very quickly. So I'll try to do this tonight actually, because there's not many games left. So if I can do that, I get a rare players pack which is good and hopefully I can pack someone out of that. That's where the objectives are on the RTG, let's move on to the actual team, let's see if any changes have taken place, what's been going on with the team, has my lengthy team turned into a super lengthy team? No. Okay, so I've not made any changes, although I am really now contemplating whether to make some changes. With RTG, you'll realize every time, whenever you get a new player, whenever you go into games, you start realizing who's good and who's not. Especially in competitive rival games, you absolutely understand who's playing for the badge and who's not. Right now, there's a few players that I'm looking at and thinking, okay, in game, they go missing. One of them is Diaby. He's got great stats, he's got great pace. In game, he does really go, he, he goes missing. I don't know what happens to him. He just simply does not perform as I would like him to do. Um, that dribbling, look at that dribbling. Look at the agility, look at the balance, look at the pace, look at the acceleration, sprint speed, finishing. 95 finishing he does not finish like a 95 finisher i don't know what to do maybe i'm playing him in the wrong position maybe i need to do better with him his dribbling of course as, as you probably know already dribbling isn't brilliant left it so i i struggle with him uh, messi is good but again i want him to do more i want him to do more he's untradeable these all most of my team is untradeable apart from gomez and schlotterbeck i think everyone else is untradeable and fofana sorry so i've got three players i've gone out and bought everyone else is untradeable would i prefer having some upgrades yes when i'm gone into rival games i've realized my centre back pairing needs to be updated, it needs to be better. So Schlotterbeck, although he's really good, he's lacking. Bemba definitely needs to be replaced. I think Mukulele is good, but he again needs replacing. The left back here, Guardiol needs replacing. So I need some better players in them positions, especially when I'm going up in rivals. I'm coming up against some pacey right wing, left wing players and I can't stop them. Centre mid, Emre Chan is brilliant but he again he's another one he goes missing in the game. I don't know what happens to him. He just simply disappears. I don't see him on the pitch. He doesn't run around enough for me. I think he is perfect. If I'm playing a formation with five defenders he slots into the centre back position really really well and I think that's his favourite position for me anyway. I think he makes a difference there. Fofana is great. His passing is what lets him down. 
Um, I did try to increase his passing, not good. His agility and balance suffers as well. Overall, am I happy with him? Not really. I think he could be a lot better. He's someone that I may look to replace. He's not doing much either with chemistry. He's getting only two. I think if I put in someone from the German league or from the French league, or if I want to put in a Ruju, a Ruju if that's how you pronounce it, um, if I need to put him in, I'm thinking of getting someone like Frankie de Jong in that position, but Frankie de Jong is, I think he's 95k at the moment, I can't afford him. If I put in Frankie de Jong, I'd have to put in someone like Depay on the left wing to make that complete team. And left back, I will need to replace as well. So. I ain't got the coins to do that, I haven't got the funds to do that, so I'm hoping I pack someone who can make a difference. I've got players on the bench, please let me know your comments and let me know what you would do. This is my bench. Have I got any decent other players? Let's let me check the club. Have I got I've got I've got Terstegen and that's it really. It kind of goes down from there. Let me know. Let me know if, if you can see anyone in here who you'd prefer playing over. The players that I've got in the starting lineup. There's Uppy Meccano. I've played him. He's not as good as I think the uh, Schlotterbeck card I have. He's on paper, he's, he's good, but let me compare him to Schlotterbeck. So, Schlotterbeck, yeah, I mean, Schlotterbeck is, feels more agile compared to him. That's the team upgrade discussion. I do need to look at more options. Gomez is good. If he gets a chance, he finished, he's doing good. Overall, I'd rate the team out of 10. I'd say it's about a six at the moment. I need to get some new players in there, fresh legs. I think there's a bit more pace I need in the center of the park, which I haven't got. Fofana feels really slow uh, and sluggish, so I need to change that up. Uh, Goretzka is brilliant. He's the perfect box-to-box -box midfield player, probably one of the best ones I've played with. That's the team. Record's not looking too good. I need to qualify for the weekend league. I've done the, I haven't done many objectives. I haven't done anything else. Let's see what if there's any SBCs. Kessie looks good, but again, will he get upgraded? He's always at a risk. Thinking whether Barcelona will play well. Um, they look like they're going to get knocked out of the Champions League, so that's not too good. So, what are the opportunities of Kessie getting upgraded? You need to think about that. It's quite a serious investment at this stage of the game. Who else have we got? Who else? Oh, we got, oh Renato Sanchez would be a brilliant C CDM if I could afford him. Uh, Marcus Rashford, people are claiming that he's brilliant. That card doesn't look good to me, but he has come up against me and he has scored, so maybe he is the real deal. Cody Gapko doesn't fit into the team. Uh, Valverde, SBC, paying a lot for a CM. Like I say, for Fana, I want to sell. Is he going for a bit more now? I bought him for, uh, I think it was 19, no, 17, 17,000 coins, which is pretty good. Gomez, if I was to sell him now, I bought him for 170. I think he's gone up in price a little bit. Schlotterbeck, let's see if he's risen in price. I know Borussia Dortmund played yesterday and won in the Champions League. He doesn't look like he's gone up in price. Looks like he's uh, I bought it for 15. I thought that was pretty good because I just thought, well, whatever happens, it's just, I, I know I can sell him for 10k minimum by now. Yeah, 10k I'll get back. So if I, whatever I lose, I'll only lose about 5,000 5, coins. That's my team. I would like a left back. So you need to help me out on this RTG. You need to tell me what the left back I need if I can get another right back in there and a centre back pairing if there's any. Or oh, the defence entirely actually needs to be changed. So the defence and the left wing. Let me know what you would do. These are my people on the bench. I do think maybe I'm missing a beat here with not playing Son, Rashford and Kent Maximum. So I'm gonna leave it there. By tomorrow, I'll give you another RTG update and see if we can qualify for the weekend league. Take it easy, smash that like button. Please subscribe. See you next time.